Hello friends, in the last video we discussed about enzymes and proteins involved in prokaryotic and eukaryotic DNA replication that was a comparative study. Then we discussed about certain similarities of eukaryotic and prokaryotic DNA replication. In this video we are going to discuss about differences between prokaryotic and eukaryotic DNA replication. So let us see them one by one. First of all, Prokaryotic DNA replication occurs in prokaryotic cell. Eukaryotic DNA replication occurs in eukaryotic cell. Since prokaryotes do not have the membrane bound nucleus, it occurs in cytoplasm. Eukaryotes have membrane bound nucleus which consists of chromosome and hence eukaryotic DNA replication occurs in nucleus. In prokaryotes, DNA is circular and double stranded. In eukaryotes, it is linear and double stranded. If we talk about size, size of DNA is small in prokaryotes or we can say that it has lesser amount of DNA. In eukaryotes, DNA is 50 times larger compared to prokaryotes. Hence, it has more amount of DNA. In prokaryotes, DNA has single origin of replication. In case of eukaryotes, it has multiple origin of replication. Hence, prokaryotic DNA has one replicon as each of the origin defines a replicon. Or, in other words, it is the stretch of DNA that is replicated from a particular origin. Because it has single origin, hence the entire DNA is replicated by this single origin. So, it has only one replicon. In case of eukaryote, since it has multiple origin and hence it is multi-repliconic. Now size of the origin. In prokaryotes, size of origin is 100 to 200 nucleotides or more. In eukaryotes, size of origin is 150 nucleotides. In prokaryotes, two replication forks are formed as the double strand of DNA separates at the origin. Hence, there is one replication bubble. In case of eukaryotes, each origin has two replication forks and as there are multiple origin, hence it has multiple replication bubble. In case of the prokaryotes, there is single origin of replication and the two strands separate. Then two replication forks are formed replication bubble is formed since there is one origin of replication and hence one replication bubble is formed strands in orange color are parental strands and strands in the green color are daughter strands two replication forks move away from origin in opposite direction to each other in eukaryotes there is multiple origin and at each origin two replication forks are formed so because there is multiple origin and hence multiple replication bubbles are formed. Strands in red color are parental strand and in blue color are daughter strands. Prokaryotic replication is simpler but eukaryotic DNA replication is complex hence regulation is required. Prokaryotic DNA replication is rapid process the rate is 2000 base pair per second. In case of eukaryotic DNA replication, it is slower process rate is 100 base pair per second. In case of prokaryotic DNA replication, DNA polymerase 1 and 3 are involved. DNA polymerase 3 is major replicative enzyme, which we have already discussed. In case of eukaryotic DNA replication, DNA polymerase alpha, delta and epsilon are involved and DNA polymerase delta and epsilon are major replicative enzymes. For the synthesis of the new strand, primer is required because DNA polymerase cannot initiate the synthesis of new strand as it requires 3-OH group and this is provided by the primer. In case of prokaryotes, primer is synthesized by RNA polymerase, primase. And in case of eukaryotes, Primase is DNA polymerase alpha. DNA polymerase alpha has multi subunits and two subunits serves as primase and synthesizes RNA primer. 
We know that lagging strand in DNA replication is synthesized in the form of small fragments known as Okazaki fragments. In case of prokaryotic DNA replication, larger Okazaki fragments which is about 1000 to 2000 nucleotides are produced and in case of eukaryotes, smaller Okazaki fragments are produced which is about 100 to 200 nucleotides long. If we talk about termination in prokaryote, it occurs when two replication forks meet at the TER site and TER complex is required to arrest replication forks. In case of eukaryotes, termination occurs when two adjacent replication bubbles merge together. In prokaryotes, the two replication forks move in opposite direction to each other and in the region that is diametrically opposite to origin of replication there is ter site and when the two replication fork meets at ter sites or are arrested then the termination of replication takes place and as a result of which two circular double stranded DNA molecules are produced. In eukaryotes when the two adjacent replication bubbles merge then the termination of replication takes place. This we will discuss in detail in separate video on termination step of eukaryotic DNA replication. Since we have already discussed that prokaryotic DNA molecule is circular and hence no end replication is required. But in case of eukaryotes end replication occurs by telomerase enzyme as DNA molecule is linear. Final product of DNA replication in prokaryotes is two circular DNA molecule. So this is the single double stranded circular DNA molecule and after the replication two circular double stranded DNA molecule is obtained. In case of eukaryotes final product is two sister chromatids this is chromosome this is centromere and after the DNA replication in the S phase of cell cycle we get two sister chromatids that are attached at the centromere. The cell cycle topic we have already discussed in separate video you can refer it the link is given in the description box this is all for today's video in the next video we will discuss about initiation step of eukaryotic dna replication in detail so stay tuned if you like this video please hit the like button share it and subscribe my channel thank you